So I got a request for Elizabeth Holmes. She is or was a CEO of a medical supply company or something like that. Basically the product that they made, she said, stems from her fear of needles. So she made a product or she backed a product or however it goes that could take the smallest amount of blood and run all your tests with. So basically, like they said, they paraphrased or they um, characterized a raindrop of blood can do all your tests. So if you want to know what kind of blood sugar or whatever it is that you were doing a test with, you could do it with this little speck of blood. She was sued for fraud, naturally. She was not the first person of Silicon Valley to claim or to make wild claims about something. Um, she was also sort of criticized for her dress attire because she sort of emulated Steve Jobs with the whole black turtleneck thing. I think that's more of a psychological thing than it is anything else. Because Silicon Valley is a place that rewards brilliant minds. Two cars just flipped over, there's a tower and the magician. So yeah, trickery and destruction. So she is being sued by the, um, I think Federal Trade Commission is suing her too. Somebody else is suing her. Tra Trades and means or something like that, I forget. But she says she is innocent of fraud. She did not defraud people in doctors and pharmaceutical companies with her product. She said she didn't. So let's see. Elizabeth Holmes, what's going on with you? Judgment. Well, you got that right. The King of Pentacles. Now, this is um, the greedy king in this deck. So, because mind you, she, they said her net worth was $8.9 billion or $8 billion, basically. So, yeah, she, she's got some money. The star. Set your base. That's a good thing. That's hope. The Seven of Cups. Confusion. Nine of Swords. Crowns you're reading. Strength. death card in your fear in your hopes king of cups in your environment the king of wands in the background is the justice system your word of warning is your eight of pentacles your word of solace is your queen of swords and your outcome is the Ace of Wands. Okay. I need another word for Ace of Wands. And then we will run back through this. Ace of Wands. I think I am missing a whole page. That's what's happened there. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Ace of Wands is a card of new ideas. A card of action. A card of a new plan. It's a fire sign card, so it's, it's 
a fire signs are about action. Um, yeah, that's all I said. New beginnings, power, action, new idea, force. All in searching, and it helped me not. So, yeah. What we have. Judgment. The Greedy King. So, with the King of Pentacles also has... That's what I can look up. It has some traits to it. It's not just a person. There's some traits. So, the King of Pentacles is responsible discipline, financially astute, stubborn, materialistic, or insensible. Insensible. So, at this point, I understand maintaining your innocence if you are truly innocent, but at this point, once they dig up the past, because this is a rebirth card, once they dig up the past, there's just some things you need to cop to, to not spend more unnecessary time and money trying to fight it. Because at your base, this is in your heart, this is in your mind, at your base is hope. In your mind is anxiety. On your left hand, what you do, what you've done, is confusion. What you're doing is strength. This is on your right. So you have planted misinformation, lies, if we're harsh, about what it is your company does, what it is your products do. Now you're trying to take the full strength approach because you are a billionaire and all of you feel as though you own the world. In your fear, which, if this is in your base, this is in your heart, this is in your fear, this is hope, this is hopeless. So you do fear the death and the change that will come. Um, in your hopes, again, I don't know who this is to you, but this is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups also has some traits. could be mature, caring, and emotionally balanced. So I think this is more just a person. So you hope that whoever this is, maybe this is a judge or a lawyer or something of some, of some sort. Because in your environment, looks like a prosecutor. The King of Wands, because in the background of the King of Wands is the Justice card. So that's what's going on behind him. Your word of warning is your job. You had 800 employees, you're down to 20 because your company is slowly closing to shut things down and shut things off. 800, now you have 20. Your word of solace is the law. So you may not see any prison time because whoever this is on your political team or your official team as far as law goes is politically and astute with the things that they need to do to keep you behind out of prison. I'm trying not to say wrong words there. <laughs> There's the Ace of Wands. So this is a new idea, a new plan of action. So you're not going to prison, but there's no need for all these lawyers if you didn't do anything wrong. I mean, there's a need for a lawyer because you don't need to represent yourself. But... If you're truly innocent and you have not defrauded half the world, then she will prevail and then everything will be over. Your company is still shut down, but don't cry for you, Argentina. You still got more money than Jesus. But there is a new plan of action. So there might be a judgment and then an appeal process is what I feel. So, we'll see what happens with you.